Hey, welcome back to Milton Daily Homes. It's the Friday episode. And what I want to let you know about is if you're coming to town, sign up for a tour of homes. Let us know by email if you're coming here. Make it the best use of your time. Instead of looking at these random open houses, go on a good focus tour that will really help you get to know about the different neighborhoods, the different homes in your price range. Great opportunity, okay? I think we run three or four of them on the weekend. And uh, what I also wanted to mention is that we're getting close to that time where we can really implement something called free government money. And so everybody, well, most first-time buyers know about the program where you can take money from your RRSPs and allocate it towards your, your first home. It's probably the only time in your life that you can take money out of your RRSPs without a penalty or without any tax repercussions. So there's a bit of a different twist on that program. We talk about it a lot at the buyer class, but this is golden season to start doing that little maneuver that we talk about. And again, you don't touch any of your own money. You don't need any of your own money to do it. And you can generate for yourself a, a rather sizable tax return. So anyhow, if you want to know about that, just send me an email. Just put free government money in the subject line. I think what I might do is maybe run a little seminar next week. If I can get maybe more than about 10 people interested, then uh, maybe we'll just get together in a room and we can talk about how that can work because it can really benefit you. Uh, it might give you that boost in your down payment that you need. And we oftentimes talk about $10,000, even more. Actually, the higher, the more money you make, the bigger the return. And, uh, and that's a pretty cool thing. So let's get to today's list. I think there's like 13 properties. First one up is 1483 Maple, number 106. Some people, uh, men and women, are a little bit scared off by being on the first floor. But guess what? Milton's not a ghetto, okay? So it's a good-looking unit. It has uh, upgraded floors. A little bit more amenities compared to the Costigan building, although I like the finishes better in Costigan. And we've got a one-bedroom plus a den here. And, uh, you know, I like it. Overall, $219 is, is a great price for this model. And we haven't seen a one-bedroom in a little while come out for this building, probably in the last two months or so. So welcome to, uh, excuse me, to see that option out there. Maintenance fee is $184. And uh, so cost is the next one. This is a relist. It's at $249.9. And it's also a one bedroom and it's just really kind of messy inside. You see all the stuff on the fridge and the cabinets are almost like a light pink color, which I don't think is really going to excite too many people, but nine foot ceiling, it's got a great floor plan. The furniture in here is, here is huge, so it makes it look smaller, but it's actually a good unit. The best part about it, because we look at what can you change and what can't you change. You can paint kitchen cabinets. You can change the actual layout, and you can change that so it overlooks green space, and there's nothing that's going to be built, as far as I know, anywhere close to this on this side. So you're looking at nice views here. That's a west view, so you get some great sunsets as well. And, uh, you know, the building itself, I think, has uh, has its has its pluses, for sure. Brassard, no relation to Commandant Lessard from the Police Academy movies. I would like to bust that joke every time the street comes out. Uh, 337.5, you've got a two-car parking in the driveway. Uh, really good finishes. And so we've seen some interesting dynamics with this model. Uh in the last week or so, there's been a lot of them that have come out that are sort of the same price range. I think this is the best looking one out of the bunch. It has some really great pictures. And if anyone's going to crack a good number on this, getting up into the 330s, I think it's going to be these guys. It's the three bedroom version. So the two other bedrooms besides the master, a little bit small, but the main floor or what we call the second floor is uh, is a uh, is awesome it always wins people so chapman crescent 359 the last couple sales have been in the 360s for these kind of models i think it's a great price i think it's a good deal lots of parking in the driveway here it's about 1800 square feet so it's one of the bigger uh, models that you can get for your price now you do face dairy so you hear the road but the street itself kids you know are riding bikes outside of these homes because you don't get that much traffic there. Although with those new live works, you might find that people are sort of cutting through. Anyhow, inside looks pretty good. Kitchen cabinets are a nice uh, color. And yeah, I think these guys are going to do well. Um, the, the two kids' rooms are probably going to look 
small just because of the amount of stuff inside. They probably could have taken some stuff out, taken the shower curtain and just made something a little more neutral just to appeal to a wider audience. Because if you don't have kids, you immediately feel alienated by that bathroom. So May 2012 possession, but again, great price. I don't think any of the shower curtain things are going to affect the results at that price. So Moat Lane, 374.9. There's no photos. It's a front back house. Uh, it looks like it says a partly finished basement. This is one of those mirror postings I talked about yesterday, how you can bring an agent in to negotiate on your behalf, but they really don't have any listing representation on their side. Uh, Davis Lane is at 379.9. Again, another front back house. I don't know about you, but I don't like the idea of having my backyard back onto Maine. So somebody's going to buy these homes. I mean, it, based on the last sale, which was in the 370s, um, I just don't think it's going to be one of my clients personally. I just, I can't, as much as the area is good, I just, I don't know if I can really recommend it. Like I, I, my heart's not in recommending a home like this because of the location being that close to the main road, not really having a true backyard per se, but it's nice inside. This one's going to, it actually looks a lot better than the one that sold. There's a lot of care that's been put into it. And uh, having the finished basement is certainly going to help these guys out. Between the two, I'd take this one over the previous uh, if I had to, if there was a gun to my head. Okay, so Gordon Heights is at 417. Double car parking in the driveway. It's a sundial home, so you're getting a nice, probably 30 feet deeper than Mattamy. That's huge. That's an awesome piece of land. I think about this home as being really good for like a young couple or a single person. It's a small detached home, probably about 13, 1400 square feet. You've got a separate front room. The kitchen is very small. Okay, so the kitchen, there's no room for an eat-in. I mean, it's just big enough to open the fridge door. So what some people do is they do a little breakfast bar. If you can see the way, yeah, so they'll do a little breakfast bar right here as a small eat-in area just off the hall. There's not a lot of room here though. That's the one thing. If they just had added two, even two feet would make a huge difference in that kitchen. And uh, then upstairs, you've got your three bedrooms. And actually upstairs, the, the rooms are a decent size. So good stuff here, 417, based on the one that just sold on Cooper on the pie-shaped lot for more than asking at 419. I can't say the price because there's privacy laws, but that one's going to do well. They're going to they're gonna really see success pretty quick. Lansboro, 430, it's a semi-detached, um, about 1,900 square feet, kind of in line, I guess, with what they sell for. I don't see anything real exciting based on the uh, the listing here. Rule is at 479. It's a uh, Spirit Plan 4. The big feature it has here, and I love the fact it's the first picture you see, it's the walkout. So this is a rare feature, probably adds between five and $10,000. Lots of light here, possibility even for having in-laws live in there. Great stuff, okay? So I don't think there's a fence. The layout on these homes is terrific. I really like the floor plan. And I don't know what the heck that's about. The, the you know, foot view, um, the cat's eye view. And it's a good floor plan here. So the kitchen's been upgraded. Uh, I don't know if the pictures add anything. It doesn't show how open it is, but I think 479, not quite as upgraded as the one recently that sold in the 470s. Uh, but it's still, you know, I, I think what the walkout is, it's going to hold that value. April 15th is their uh, their possession. McGuire Terrace is a relist, 489. It's a, uh, a Quincy corner. Seen a couple Quincy's sell in the 490s in the last couple weeks. And I don't know if the sort of orangey brown floors and kitchen cabinets are really going to draw people in, but I guess it's good value. Uh, you know, the fact that there is hardwood floor certainly helps their cause, and you got a little bit wider lot there too. Nice elevation on the outside. I think somebody will, will see this one as being just sort of, uh, you know, good value instead of like, you know, awesomely upgraded. Chandler Crescent, 528. It's on a bit of a pie-shaped lot. Uh, nice. I mean, it looks good. That kitchen island's movable. You've got a, the handles look good in the kitchen. Upgraded floors upstairs. I think they presented it pretty well. Having a little two-tiered deck there too. And you can see, probably see the escarpment pretty well. 528 to me seems like it's uh, it's shooting right in the right range. So Robarts, 549. This was listed with an agent. Again, we get another mirror posting here. So the, the seller is representing themselves. 
uh, and again, that's like going to court by yourself. So again, I mean, it's I, oftentimes I'll start licking my lips when I have to negotiate with the seller directly because it's just, you know, coming with that much experience, it can really, uh, you know, it can it can be to the buyer's favor. Let's put it that way. Five forty nine though they dropped the price on this one compared to when it was listed with a listing agent. Uh, I remember some really good upgrades on this one. Nice thick granite counters in the kitchen, and uh, you got a pretty good hundred and five foot lot there. Uh, really close to the leisure center, to the uh, center for the arts, for go train, all that stuff. It's a really good location. All bricks, sundial or not sundial, Green Park built this one, and. Uh, I, I think they're going to attract attention at this price for sure. Uh, Savaline is at 789.5, 3,300 square feet. It's on a nice 50 by 100 piece of, of uh, land. Good upgrades inside. I think they're probably missing that cabinet door. It's probably something the builder is going to come back in and do. I'd be real surprised if they didn't have doors for that. Uh, you know, it looks okay. I just don't know if not having a finished basement, I'll back you onto something like having no neighbors behind if they're going to be able to shoot up in the high sevens. Uh, it's in the new Foothills development, so it's an intracorp home. Haven't seen any of the intracorp. They certainly look nice. I just don't know if uh, if these guys are going to... I mean, I definitely think the first number is going to start with a seven, and... I, it's just up near eight is is a is a tough one to do. Okay, although we just saw the one on the corner of Scott and Main sell in the mid eights, and that was a huge thing for me. I was really surprised at that, uh, given that there's going to be traffic lights basically right on that corner and uh, triple car garage, but tough location. So, anyways, that's uh, that's the list for today. If you have any questions, give us a call. Uh, send us an email, reach out to us. We're definitely here to help. Come on a tour and let me know. Send me an email with the subject line, free government money, if you're interested in maybe coming and, uh, and attending a little mini seminar just about how to get free money to help you buy your first house. Okay, have a great day. See you later.